Good morning, kiddo kids, and welcome to your Tuesday, December 5th, and today happens to be, well, National Walt Disney Day, because Walt Disney was a, a big visionary and created one of the largest media empires the world has ever known. And he actually started out, uh, as we know, by creating one of the most beloved characters in Disney lore, Mickey Mouse. But the thing is, he didn't actually do that. Walt uh, actually had a different character that he originally created called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, which, if you look at him, he does have a lot of resemblance to the famous Mickey Mouse. But the mouse himself was actually a side character in the Oswald uh, cartoons, and the you know final version of Mickey was kind of a mashup of the two of them. But he wasn't even the one to actually push the together to make them the iconic character that we all know. It was at the, uh, actually this uh, animator that worked for Walt Disney called, and this is an interesting name, Ub, like actually U-B is his first name, Iwerks, which I-W-E-R-K-S, so very interesting name, but something that will definitely stick in your mind, that Ub was the man who, you know, originally drew uh, Mickey. But to give Walt his credit, he was the one who actually owned the animation studio. He created Disney's original animation studios and made shorts that played usually at the beginnings or even ends of movies. Uh, and then actually really developed that until it was a full feature movie uh, producer. Whether it was animated features, like we all know, uh, like the very original uh, Disney cartoons, or actual you know live action uh, movies and television. And then eventually he had the uh, you know wherewithal to actually create a giant uh, amusement park in California in which you could walk into that world that he had created through those studios. And then that developed into them building it again in Florida, even bigger with Walt Disney World. And now there's Euro Disney, uh, there's obviously Walt Disney World's expansions into you know the Star Wars universe and all kinds of crazy stuff. And just to let you know how successful it's been, its actual uh, total value for Disney as a you know company is 168 billion, actually a little more, 0.4 billion dollars. That's a lot of value, a lot of money. And to let you know, that actually puts Disney in the top 10, almost top 100 uh, countries in the world in terms of value, uh, the GDP of countries. So that means the gross domestic product of each nation, Disney makes more than most nations of the world. That's, that's kind of a weird, almost scary thing to think about. But anyways, congratulations, Walt, and uh, your posthumous award. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot of money. Anyways, let's find the flag in the room, Ant. Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Alright, you crazy kind of kids, let's look a little bit food for the day. We happen to have on our menu a ham sandwich or soft taco with salsa, vegetarian beans, sliced carrots, mixed fruit, and milk. Quite a long menu option set uh, or list right there today. We'll let you know that what's going on with that weather outside. It's going to be a well, pretty cold day today. We're looking at high of only about 36 degrees. It's going to feel a lot more blustery and cold than yesterday. Uh, we're going to be getting a little tiny bit of sunshine tomorrow. The only sun we'll see for probably about a week here uh, with a a temperature drop out to about a high of 33 degrees. The warm temperature comes right back in for Thursday through Friday and into the weekend, but so does a little of that precipitation with a tiny bit of snow flurries tomorrow. And then we're, or sorry, on Thursday, and then we're looking at a little bit of rain at the end of the weekend. So it's just kind of a bleh, gray kind of forecast going forward. Those clouds will be sticking around quite a bit. Uh, and even on Wednesday, when we get a little bit of uh, sunshine here and there, it'll be through some cloud cover. All right, let's do everybody's favorite part of the announcements, the Kendall Canines. And I uh, do want to mention uh, Delia here has sent in her two dogs uh, named, let's see, Stormo and bon bon Bonnebel. Excuse me, Bonnebel. Uh, so absolutely cute uh, dogs right here. I love those photos. Somebody really was doing some you know, extra work setting up good shots of their dog. So Delia, way to go. Those are awesome pups. We're going to have to say t plus 10,000 points because they are just absolutely cute puppies, and I just want to be able to pet them, and, you know, 
Hopefully someday I will. Anyways, let's do the Kendall mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. We'll hope you guys have a terrific Tuesday, and if I don't get a chance to see you, remember to stay colorful Kendall. And I will leave you back on, you know, the pups, because they're cute. Oh.